Well, the experts say severe weather events, they usually the ones that happen overnight, are more than twice as likely to be deadly than the ones that happen during the day. And that's because most people are asleep when that happens. And that's why we want to make sure you have all the information you need, all the tools you need to get severe weather alerts overnight. I hope Ford has put together some tips for us and hope uh, this is a step by step guide of how to make sure all your devices were set up to do just that. Yeah, that's right, because you know a lot of you probably, you know, have your phone in your hand right now or it's right next to you and that phone is going to be very important tonight as the severe weather continues to roll in, especially if a lot of you are going to be asleep. So we're going to take a quick minute and let just walk you through how to turn on all of those weather alerts on your phone just in case you're asleep and you need to wake up iPhone users open your settings app, go to notifications, scroll all the way down to emergency or public safety alerts. You want to turn those on and you want to make sure they are green. Android users, it differs depending on your phone, but for the most part, the settings will be called cell broadcasts or emergency alerts. The best way to look for them is open your settings, search broadcast or emergency. Chances are the phone will give you the settings right away. Again, turn these alerts on. You also to make sure you're downloading the 11 alive app in the app go to settings that's the gear symbol in the top right hit notifications tap weather and there you can set your default location and then turn on severe weather alerts you may be prompted again to update your location settings go ahead and hit settings choose always that way you'll get severe weather alerts even when you close the app and some other things that you might want to consider for tonight, go ahead and charge your phone and also make sure that, you know, you're charging any of those power banks that you might also have. And also uh, make sure that you're turning your ringer on. If you normally don't, you know, it's just for one night and you definitely want to make sure that it rings instead of vibrates, just in case someone needs to get in touch with you for any type of emergency. Again, as the severe weather rolls in, just in case some of you are asleep. Yeah, very, very important tips there. Thank you so much, Hope.